What Makes Humans Human The 1972 science fiction film Solaris, directed by Andrei Tarkovsky, follows Chris Kelvin's expedition to a space station, the orbit's remote planet of Solaris. As Chris joins a small crew of scientists at the space station, he learns about the unique ability of Solaris. Visitors are created from the deepest memory of the men on board. The planet manifests Harry, Chris's late wife who committed suicide. Solaris highlights some of the greatest mankind questions. What is love? What does the human soul desire? What is reality? What makes a human? How do you use a projection of human from Chris's memory? She has human qualities and tendencies to feel and make decisions. Harry has most of her memory of her life before Solaris. The longer projected Harry stayed with Chris, the more self reliant she became, the more of the real Harry's memories, fears, and anxieties she gained. In an inhumane condition, the men on board act rather cold hearted and detached, while Harry, a replicant, on embodied intelligence, is warm-hearted, kind, and caring. She has self-consciousness, intuition, memories, and lack of memories. As Wolf suggests in his book, what is post-humanism, that the body is seen as a kind of virtuality. At first, Hattie is barely self-aware. And she has extreme separation anxiety. The post-human approach views body as a medium, and that its identity is subjective. Hattie is later able to adapt to the environment and evolve through her experiences. Вы не женщина и не человек. Поймите вы наконец, если вы вообще способны что-нибудь понимать. Вы только ее повторение, механическое повторение, копия, матрица. Ну я, я становлюсь человеком. Чувствую я нисколько не меньше, чем вы. Поверьте. Hattie may not be nearly human, but she surely became one. If having a body is not legitimate measures of one identity, then surely something else must be. So what makes a human? In the three hours long of Solaris, Tarkovsky never disclosed any direct answers, but instead, he leaves us with more questions. Is it our consciousness of someone that we're in love with? Or is it that person themselves? Is it our idea of others that sustains them, gives them life? Is it our consciousness that makes us who we are? After all, what is there but a human soul? <laughs>